No gambling tonight, boys. Can I get you gentlemen started off with a drink? How about a bottle of your finest whiskey? Oh, and, uh, you know, it'd be great if you could top us off literally every time you walk past our table. <laughs> are we celebrating something special, or are you guys just relentless alcoholics? Both, actually. <laughs> our boy's getting married. Congratulations. Huh? No, 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 not me, the Italian Ken doll over here. <laughs> we love each other very much. I bet you do. <laughs> Let me go put your order in. Thank you. Isn't that a wonderful thing, finding the love of your life, Tommy? Mm hmm? Ah, uh, what am I doing, guys? No idea, but I've never seen your mom happier. <laughs> Seriously? What happened to you? Everything changes tomorrow, right? Right? But not our friendships. I've known you guys my whole life, and that doesn't change just because I put a ring on my finger. You say so, Tommy. Round two when I get back. Jesus Christ, are you fucking kidding me? He's a beast. <laughs> this ain't what it looks like. The asshole, it's my fucking girlfriend. Not if you're playing blackjack all night. Shut up, you filthy whore. Oh, no, no, have a little respect. Where's the lucky guy? Oh, he's having, um, bachelor's remorse. <gasps> if I had been alone, I would have been dead. But I hadn't been alone in 20 years. Three of you together. When you stick together, you're a team. Teamwork will beat any other individual player. We grew up on 100 basketball courts. Our fathers taught a team game, five on five, unselfish play, fundamentals, teamwork, trust. We set screens, we got guys open, we threw the extra pass. And if our teammate got beat, we came over from the weak side to help. Yes. We bled for each other, we lied for each other, we tested loyalty every day, we never lost. Come on, you guys gotta get out of here. Go, 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 go. I'm all right. You sure? Go. It started in fourth grade basketball clinic, and we thought it would last forever. Just a couple of good Samaritans who put a stranger in the hospital to save a guy they never met? Who put an asshole in the hospital to save an innocent man from an unfair fucking ambush. You wouldn't lie to a cop, would you? Of course I wouldn't. Come on. We divorced 10 months later. But not because my wife found out I had bathroom sex at my bachelor party. The thing about my friends is, we could always keep a secret. Hell yes, we would lie to a cop. Don't forget, Mary needs help with her algebra homework. Oh my god, that's totally not true. She got a B on a math test. What's wrong with a B? Nothing. If you're a born loser. Mr. Kincaid said nobody uses algebra after high school anyway. Wait, who said that? He's my volleyball coach. Jesus Christ, Baba, you think they talk that kind of shit in private school? We gotta talk. Seriously, Pete, we're having lunch. Good to see you, Deb, how you doing? Great, thank you. You know what nobody uses after high school, Mary? Volleyball, all right? Let's work on that algebra later. Take any action from Jack and Cannon lately? I wish. The guy's a fucking cash cow. Not lately. Oh. Yes, sir. To win 50, Detroit minus four. All right. You're saying King Cannon got sharp? That used to fork over two grand a week in college football. He just took me for 15 grand in the NBA. Anybody can get lucky once, Pete. For the third week in a row. Major line move. Major line move. Major line move. Look. These are his last 13 games. It's like 75% accurate. Yeah. 
The guy's suddenly an NBA betting savant when we both know he don't know shit about pro hoops. However, he does know your old pal, Tim Donaghy, who, by the way, officiated all but two of these games. Whatever Donaghy's up to, why is he telling Ken Cannon and not you? And what can we do to change that? So, I just applied at the Hoffman School. <laughs> uh, I just heard Megan tell someone we applied to the Hoffman School. Oh, yeah, we did. Well, uh, that's good to know, because uh, Hoffman's, what, $45,000 a year? Honey, it's the best school in the state. Well, I thought uh, Milliken was. Milliken's the best public school. Um, babe, we spent an extra $200,000 on this house so we could specifically be at Milliken, yeah? Honey, she's gifted. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, by what standard? You're kidding, right? No, look, she is, uh, she's smart and talented just like a mother, but, but we can't be at Hoffman on my salary and still keep this house. And keep your golf membership. Milliken is a great school. I know that because you told me so. You're a shit, you know that? <laughs> Hey, sweetie. No, that is not happening. I gotta go to work now. Yeah, I know. Can you put the phone down? Have a nice trip, Dad. What, seriously? Hey, happy birthday. I love you. <sighs> She's so really? pissed off all over again. She probably knows you're not gonna let her go to Hoffman. And, you know, we didn't get her the one present she asked for. What, the juicy bodysuit? Yeah. Have a good trip. All right, girls. Daddy's got to go to work. Too tight, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Give me a kiss. Yeah. We grew up in a pocket of Delaware County called Drexel Hill, where they teach basketball to kids the way South Korea teaches math. Bounce passes, back screens, zone D, and a half-court trap. The area doesn't produce players so much as it produces students of the game. So it's not a total surprise one of us grew up to be a ref. Get up on account of me. All right. Listen, we'll talk. Tommy and I got to make a run into the Big Apple, okay? How are you, Pete? Ask me again in two weeks. All right. All right, try to relax, okay? Hey, what's going on, Tim? Just need an Advil, Doc. Hey! Sitting this one out tonight? It's a game time decision. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Help yourself, Tim. Go ahead, Tim. Help yourself. Basketball and bookmaking. Walk into any sports bar in Delco, any golf club, any grade school Christmas pageant. The only guys not betting games are the one taking the bets. And except for the doctors and lawyers in town, they were the ones making a killing. Our boy Baba was top dog. Outside your frat house. As far as the IRS knew, Baba was a professional gambler. Good years and bad, he'd report a couple hundred grand in earnings to avoid any red flags. 
But technically speaking, he wasn't a bookie. He was a mover. What's funny about the Vegas sports books is they hate to gamble. Say you're some square college kid with 500 bucks and a hunch on Nova Hoops. They love you. Place your bet, pretty boy. But say you're sharp and you got 500 grand to get down on 10 different games. Forget it. Fuck off. You can't get those bets down anywhere. Movers, guys like Baba, they keep the sharp guys in the game. They'll disguise that 500K and get it down in smaller chunks across 20 different outlets. Big time sports books, small time bookies, offshore, everywhere. And for their trouble, they take 1% of the win. Baba moved millions for a ruthless numbers freak who called himself the Chinaman. I think is a fuck you to the stereotype. Guy wasn't even Chinese. But I never met anyone stupid enough to call him that to his face. On a lock pick. Week 15, Eagles, Giants. Bet the birds. Says who? Got a guy in the New York locker room. He says he knows for a fact the Giants are a bunch of total fucking pussies. Fuck you, Batista. Uh, fuck your New York football Giants. What do you got here? <laughs> On paper, he was a professional gambler. But come on now, nice. taking one percent from the best sports handicappers in the world? How the fuck do you call that gambling? Yeah. Yeah, to win two dimes, Indiana, Denver, like uh, Nuggets plus the points. Yeah. You talk to Donaghy a lot, right? On the phone all the time. You ever mentioned Jack and Cannon? Not since he moved away. They used to play golf all the time. Why? I need to see him, Tommy. And Cannon? Donaghy. Next time he's in town. I thought you two couldn't see each other anymore. You know, for work. We'll figure something out. Airport hotel lounge. What are we getting laid before dinner? <laughs> Far from it, buddy. The fuck is he doing here? What is wrong with you? I can't be seen with a bookie, Tommy. This is for you, bro. Sorry. Come on. I'm not staying, Baba. No offense. I missed you too, buddy. Mm. I could lose my job for this. Duns, relax. I right, were just a couple of friends having drinks. I mean, it's not like I'm your old friend Jack Concannon, huh? It's not like you're giving me sharp picks so I can go off and bet them with my old friend Pete Ruggieri. I don't know what you're talking about. The fuck, Tommy? Oh, is it true? Is what true? Of course it's fucking true. Tim, come on. It's a drink. Huh? It's just a drink, Duns. Tim, it's a drink. Come here, sit next to me. Over there. Come here, come all right, over here. All right. <laughs> you look good, by the way. How's Kim? She's fine. Yeah, and the girls? They're the same. Is Con Cannon paying you per winning pick? Baba, I told Listen, you. Listen, Timmy. We've known each other a long time, right? So why don't we just skip to the part where I understand how all this works? Fuck! Good. Good. It's all right. Now, let's skip to the part where I make you a better offer. What's he paying you per pick? He's not. He just... He... Gets my bets down. Okay. How much you betting? Two grand a game. That's it? Just two dimes? It's never just two when you lose the fucking thing, Baba. Oh. Hey, there she is. All right.
right. Thank you very much. I'll pay you five per winning pick. What if I lose? It's a free roll, Timmy. I pay your wins, and I eat your losses. Five grand per win. Guaranteed. Yeah. It's not gambling anymore. Right? Think of it as commerce. I got caught once. Yeah, you did. By me. Because I'm the best there is, and you went and picked the wrong goddamn part. I mean, what the fuck? You couldn't have come to us first? Hey, suddenly you can't trust us? No, no. I, I just... I didn't... And I want to put you guys at risk. Risk? <laughs> risk. That's adorable. Risk. <laughs> Listen, Tim, the three of us, we make this work. We keep it real small, just between us. So we build an airtight system, and then we shut the fuck up about it. All right? All right? We bet small. Okay, we spread them out so we don't draw any attention to ourselves. Tim, Tim, we're not going to get caught. All right? It's a license to print money. No risk. All we're waiting on is for you to say yes. <clears throat> I want to talk to Tommy. How the fuck did he find out? I don't know, Duns. Maybe it was the degenerate gambling addict you picked for a partner. <sighs> Does Bubba pay up? Because Kankana sure as hell doesn't. Of course, Papa pays up. He's the best there is. Come on. Philly's a four point dog, but Boston will cover the spread. Coach. Real fast, boys, you gotta see this. Ta da! You wonder where you got it, huh? Holy. Where'd you find all this? Oh, easy. I, uh, I Googled uh, Tim Donahue, NBA, Cardinal O'Hara. I got like 10,000 hits. It's practically a dream come true. I'll grab us some beers. Practically. Oh, come on. You know what he means. Nobody dreams of being a ref, Tommy. Nobody studies this game, practices three hours a day, all through high school to grow up to officiate it. Nobody but a dickhead, at least. Well, he's still proud of you, bro. Yeah. Practically. My dad ain't proud of me like this. Well, you ought to be. You're ten years older than any other pot dealer I know. What are we drinking to, Mr. D? What else? To basketball. Basketball. Check it out, guys. Iverson signed this for my kid for his birthday. Iverson carries the ball every time he crosses over. Don't forget that just because he wrote his friggin' name, all right? Where's your line on Philly Boston? All right, uh, give me 20 dimes on Boston minus the points. It's Baba 45-45. Do we have to watch the whole game? Well, that's why I bought this thing, Steph. Pro hoops in high def. I was hoping we could break it in with some HD porn. Ah, uh, don't worry. There's plenty of time for that. <laughs> <laughs> so who's playing anyway? Boston Philly, huh? Yeah. Hey, did Jack and Cannon bet this one? Nope. Uh -huh. Where we at with Donaghy? I'm afraid I killed the golden goose, Pete. Scared him off when I told him I knew. You told him you knew? Well, I had to, you know, to ask him to work for us. But first, he denied any involvement, then he swore up and down he'd never do it again, you know, something about not wanting to blow his career. It's, uh, you know, this type of shit don't stay secret long, so. No, I guess it don't. Offensive, going down. You kidding me, Doc? 
Johnny, that's another bullshit call. Watch your mouth, shit, yo, unless you want to sit out a couple of games. What do you think? Hmm? Business, boys. <coughs> Whoa, what what is Tommy's take? Half of yours. What the fuck did he do half of? Duns, listen. <coughs> From here on out, and for as long as we do this, you and I cannot be seen together. Okay? No. And we definitely cannot talk on the phone. <laughs> as much as it breaks my fucking heart to say this, if things go well, you and I will never see each other again. <laughs> Tommy's gonna be our go-between. We will communicate with Tommy using these. Every Tuesday morning, I will ask you gentlemen to smash them into little fucking bits with a ball-peen hammer, dump those bits into a tub of acid. Don't worry, I'll get you new ones. Tommy, you still with me here? Yeah, ball-peen fucking hammer, baby. All right, now, Timmy, I'm gonna need you to pick the morning of, okay? That way I have all day to finesse the line. Please assume whatever numbers you read in the paper, I'll be able to do better by at least a point. Well, uh, how? Oh, I'm sorry. Do I ask you how you do what the fuck it is you do? <laughs> Gentlemen, we only talk in code, okay? Always assume that someone's listening. Even though you do as I say, use these little pink fuckers, nobody will be. Oh, what kind of code? Very good. We're gonna use Tommy's brothers. My brothers? Yeah. You just said it was only us three. No, no, Tommy, for fuck's sake, for the code. Would you put this shit down? Jesus Christ. Your brother Chuck, he lives in Philly, right? Right. Okay, so he's the home team. His brother Johnny lives in Jersey. That's the away team. Oh. All right? Whatever number you happen to bring up in any given conversation, that's the line that Tim's working from. You understand? I understand. Ah. Oh. Good. Guys, nobody can know about this shit but us. All right? You keep your heads down, your mouth shut. There's no reason we can't do this forever. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Tommy, what the, what the fuck are these guys? Uh, Steph, back to bed, hon. I'll be in in one minute, okay? What time is it? Is she even legal, Tommy? Hey, this watch your so... goddamn mouth. Hey, uh, these are just some old friends of mine, Steph. It's okay. And for your information, she's 23. I'm 22, asshole. Yeah, I know. Back to bed, hon, please. Hey, what's the matter? What are you, 14? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. She's a total pothead. Shape up, you two fucking assholes, all right? I got three kids to put through college. Hey, guess who I bumped into down at the New Jersey airport? Your brother, Johnny. Newark? Newark, New Jersey, Tommy, right? How the fuck could Johnny be doing at the Newark airport? I don't know, Tommy. Maybe he's catching a flight at 7.30 p.m.? No, I'm meeting Johnny for lunch at media in like 45 minutes. Are you serious, dude? Hang on, hang on. Tommy! Hey, relax. Duns. I got it. You saw my brother Johnny at the New Jersey airport. Wheels up at 7.30. I got it. Baba. My brother Johnny got diagnosed with ball cancer by a doctor in New Jersey. Got seven and a half months to live. Seven and a half months. Terrible, ain't it? Yeah, utterly fucking heartbreaking. Seriously, Baba, yeah. on a pink phone. All right, Tommy, I'll call you back. Would you? I just need five minutes. Okay, five minutes. <sighs> Problem, Baba? Look, you got 60 on New Jersey plus the points, and I'm just moving your orders, and I'm happy to do it for you, but I, I, I think it might go the other way. <laughs> do you tell me how to do my job? I'm just telling you what I think. Well, my computer thinks otherwise. Well, my computer's not a computer. 
I'm saying is I got a pretty decent hunch that I wouldn't want to bet your hard-earned money against. Oh, my money's not hard-earned. Mostly because I don't bet hunches. All right, so what, 60 on New Jersey then? Uh-uh. 120 on Detroit. I'm going to put my money where your mouth is. You won't regret it. Ah. Take the car. I'll meet you at home. Want tacos tonight, kiddo? I can't get that much cash without dipping into your retirement. I understand. Look, and believe me when I tell you, I know exactly what the fuck I'm asking you to do here, Katie. Now, please. I need 200 large split up evenly into these five offshore accounts. Offshore accounts are like a bat signal to the IRS. And to do what? Don't tell me you're going to gamble it. No, 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 no. No, it's, uh, you know, it's an investment opportunity. Investment in what? He's, uh, you know, uh, an old friend. Oh, yeah, that was the game one? <laughs> Daddy, he's reffing. That's fucked up. Oh, oh I <laughs> Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Steph, listen. I want to say this. I've been thinking a lot lately about the future. You know? About kids, birthdays. Diapers and Disney World. Hmm? Are you fucking with me, Tommy? No, no, I'm serious, Steph. Maybe it's time I grew up, you know? Maybe it's time we settled down. The two of us. I mean, we're about to fuck on the couch between a pizza box and a water bong, but... <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. I'm ready if you are. <laughs> ready. Um. This person is dead. <laughs> Ready to make some money? Mm. There's only 0. 0.3 seconds yeah. left. That ain't enough okay. time for a tipper. He's got both. Tommy, Tommy, please be quiet. Okay, thank you. Isn't the game already over? Mm -mm. I'm sure it's winning by six. Uh, we need Detroit to win by eight. Why do we need them to win by eight? Okay, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could we please shut her the hell up before she mushes the goddamn bet? Sorry, he's under a lot of stress right now. Yeah, obviously. He's three times the size of a regular douchebag. <laughs> so, we spotted New Jersey seven and a half points at the tip. So, Detroit is winning the game, but they're not covering the spread. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Okay, now, one down, one to go. It's when you smoke. What, you got pills? Pills? Are you kidding me, Baba? You want oxy, big guy? You ain't supposed to be touching any of that shit. Come on. Hey, hang on to this one, all right, darling? She's a keeper. Thank you, sweetheart. 
gonna be a good year. I'm in the game. <laughs> Boy, there ain't nothing better. What's my name? Call me PA. You need the crook and letter. Competitors getting better from never finishing better. I'm colder than Colorado. Hotter than hot Atlanta. Damn gamble. Bumbling like a rambler. Baby, so get a job. Danny don't understand her. You know how that go. Rather play my piano and need me a piece, peach. Baby, I'm on man. Baba calls you Elvis, the king of picks. Haunts you like a bad dream. It's bigger than Colossus, faster than the plane is. No way you can stop it. It's only a two container. I'm a bad man. They only 20 minutes, all right? Major line move? Something like that. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you, sir. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Hey, say hello, hello. to Stephanie. Hello. Hi. Welcome Happy to my birthday. home. Thank you so much, sweetie. Tommy said you like the good stuff. Yeah. yeah. So it is. So it is. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, son. Come on. I hope these kids like $50 video games because we got like 10 more in the trunk. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get the rest. All right. Thanks. I was using my brother's names as code words in one of the most blatant sports betting schemes in history. The least I could do was get their kids a couple of Game Boys. What are you like Uncle Santa Claus all of a sudden? Oh, come on. They're good kids. I haven't seen them in forever. Hey, there he is. Hey, Tommy. How you doing? Uh, what you up to? About four foot two? Hey, uh, you know when that was funny? Never. Fucking guy. Hey, give me a drink, will you? Where are you getting all this pocket change? The secret is forgetting to have kids. We're gonna have kids. Why don't they get out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you still making runs for Jimmy Batista? Hey, one or two nights a week. What? You got a good IT job with JP Morgan. I just I hate to see you mess that up. It's just driving. It's easy money. He's a bookmaker, Tommy. It's only easy till it isn't. Hey, come on. This ain't high school anymore. Hey, there she is. Hey. Thanks. Listen to me. You're never too old to screw up the rest of your life. I got beat. Okay. No, good luck. Let's have a drink for my birthday. What do you say? Yeah, hey, senor, come on. Make me a drink. My son bought me a bottle of the best. Hallelujah. Eh? your ass to the curb 20 years ago. Really? Yeah? Why are you talking to me now? Days like today. I am so damn glad I did it. Major line move indeed. <laughs> <laughs> On a hell of a hot streak. All right, here's your year-end bonus. January 10th. Philly at the Knicks. Fuck the line. Bet the Sixers. I got a guy inside the garden says he's convinced the Knicks are a bunch of total fucking pussies. Fuck you, Batista. Fuck the Knickerbockers. <laughs> Take the Garden State, Tom. AC? No, it's church. You back at the tables again, Baba? Sunshine in my window. Gotta get out of this bed. I feel like I can't conquer the world. Tonight I'm gonna be ready. Gonna play some bets on the table. Nothing's gonna hold me back. As long as I got you by my side, baby, you know that's alright.
You having a good time? Hardly. I'm working. Yeah? Yeah. Doing what? You see the giant ball guy who can't button his own shirt playing roulette? <laughs> he sounds beautiful on the inside. He's high on oxy. I'm his driver. Here's to working weekends. Here's to drinking on the job. Hey. Handsome. How about I take a 30-minute break? Uh, I have a pretty serious girlfriend, mm. so... I won't tell if you won't. Hey! Now you night, Baba. Where the hell were you? Hey! Some smiling escort just fuck me pro bono. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. Look, I need you to get me some coke. No, no, no. I ain't your guy for that. No. You're a drug dealer, Tom. I sell pot. Pot won't fuck your life up. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Y yeah? I'm sure about that. I'm good to you, Tommy. I'll give you 500 bucks a pop just to drive me up here so you can fuck whores behind a dumpster while I give the wheel a couple yeah, spins. I fucked her in the bathroom. Oh, you're a real class act. Are you gonna do this for me or not? Very nice, babe. Very nice. Dishing me like a motherfucker. Oh. Uh, Hiya. Don't step on our account, Tommy. Oh, I'm Priya. I'm with Tim. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And you are? With you. My name's Sasha. What do you say we uh, take that shirt off? I've never seen $40,000. You two sit tight, all right? Come here. <laughs> you told them about the money? So what? It's not like I told them the truth about where we got it. Well, what did you tell them? I told them you were a pot dealer. Timmy, how fucking dumb do you gotta be to tell a couple of hookers that I just flew across the country with, oh, Jesus Christ, with $40,000 in drug money taped to my chest? How dumb do you have to be to strap $40,000 to your tits for a domestic fucking flight? There's a 10K limit on cash, bro. Yes, for international flights. This is Arizona, dude. Uh. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> ah, fuck. And they're not hookers, although they act like hookers when they get drunk. Sasha's an old friend. I just thought, you know, one last hurrah before you tie the knot again. Come on, Tommy. Let's go get drunk. Come on. <laughs> We're back. Oh, hey. <laughs> What's this? Volume of NBA wagers went ballistic last month. There's a global shift with most of the money changing hands offshore. Point spreads were acting just as crazy. Meaning what? Meaning, heads up. Central suspects possible link to organized crime. This thing looks sophisticated. So, uh, me and Kim are going through a rough patch. She says all I do is work and play golf. And family's not my first priority. Uh, she has a point. <laughs> Maybe a little. Look, I know I can be a scumbag Tommy but Christ what did she expect you know it's not like I don't love her and the girls it's just I I need the fucking action you know 
Yeah. Hey, speaking of, how's it all work anyway? With the picks? My job puts me on the inside, right? So I, I know things that regular guys don't. Unreported injuries, bad blood between like, refs and players. It's... So you're seventy-eight percent accurate on a locker room info. It's uh, it's a complicated game, Tommy. It's full of judgment calls, biases. Let me ask you, do you understand the defensive three-second rule? Hmm? <laughs> Nobody does. Nobody. Selective enforcement? Maybe, or maybe it's just natural tendencies that happen to break my way. Hmm? That influenced the outcome of a game. You ever feel bad about that? About what? The naked chicks on my couch or the 40 grand in my carry-on? <laughs> sure. But there's always somebody on the other side of these bets, right? Yeah, you're right, there is. A fucking gambler, Tommy. Seriously, though. I mean, who's the victim here? Who? The players? They're getting paid millions of dollars a year. They only play defense in the fourth quarter and they spend the entire game bitching me out. The fans, please, come on. I mean, they're getting a pro game either way. I thought you loved this game. I love the game we played as kids. Tommy, we learned a team game. Five on five, unselfish play, all for one, one for all. I mean. Pro Hoops is anything but that. Star-driven, offensive skills showcase. I mean, you you can't play zone defense, but you can take a third step on a fast break if you jam the motherfucker. It's basically cheating, Tommy. Well, I'd play that game if I could. Yeah, well, I am playing that game. The only way they'll let me, and guess what? I'm jamming the motherfucker. Me. We cannot let Bubba fuck it up. Listen to this. I need answers, numb nuts. The Bobcats and the of Slime just jumped two fucking points for no reason at all. But we all know this ain't magic, right? Someone got their hands inside the NBA's cookie jar. And we need to find out who the fuck it is. Have I made myself clear, or are you just stupid? I'm gonna run down on every NBA game in the last six weeks with a line jump more than two points. What are we looking for? People. Oh. I'm not even trying, guys. No, I am, sweetheart. I just suck at shuffleboard. Oh, Yo! Oh, Uncle Tommy's here, sweetheart. Why don't you go upstairs, get yourself a snack, okay? Come back down in 20 minutes. What's up, Mary B? Dunnigy said the line moves are a huge red flag. He's worried you're betting too much on his game. Oh, okay. What do you say, Tommy? I don't want to get caught. Mm -hmm. To give you his pick for tonight? Chuck's coming to dinner at 6 p.m. Good, very good. Okay, so Elvis likes Denver minus six. Yeah. What do you think I should do? You should bet hard on Denver minus six. Mm-hmm. We could. Wouldn't it be better for us to bet Denver minus three? Sure, but the line is six. Come here. Have a seat, Tommy. I'm gonna show you how I make the fucking donuts. Everybody there? We're all here, big guy. What do you got? Okay, listen. Denver's laying six to Utah. Bet Utah hard, getting anything more than three. You got that, Buckley? Balls to the wall on Utah to win. Got it. Balls on the fucking railroad track. See you Got it. Okay, now get the fucking position and report back so I can keep track. You just bet the wrong team, dude. Maybe. Maybe not. But remember, the point is Denver minus three. Okay? Watch this.
See what I just did there? You bet $80,000 on Utah plus six to win. Now close your eyes and wait for it. Wait for what? Close your fucking eyes. Go ahead. Major line move. Major line move. Major line move. It's dropping to five and a half. That's right. And the whole world is watching. You see, Tommy, these six offshore websites, they report line changes in real time. 80K in 20 seconds on a random ass Tuesday night regular season game? That could only happen for one reason. The smart money, the pro money, the steam is on Utah. <laughs> right now, two things are happening. A, the halfway intelligent followers are getting their money down on Utah as fast as possible to get that number while it lasts. Because B, the sports books are now adjusting their lines downward to attract clueless squares to put their money down on the wrong side of the bet. Utah to win 10 grand? Which is actually the right side. Hey, now he gets it. And only three people Major on the planet move. know about it. Major line move. Major line move. The line's at four and a half. Yeah, it'll take a while to get to three. But Baba, you want to play some shuffleboard? Hey, this this is exactly what Dunnegy's worried about. Red Flag City. You fucking worry too much. That's the problem. Jazz Nuggets just dropped. That's third game this week. Better you than me. So every NBA game for the last six weeks where the line moved more than two points. Shit. Three and a half! We're gonna bury this motherfucker the second it hits three. Hey, Buckley, change of plans. I need you to max bet Denver for me. Everything you can get me, all the way up to six. Loop in the other guys, okay? I want updates ASAP. On it. Nice. We're only laying three for the first million in play. You just bet a million dollars? Yeah, so far. So far? Yeah. How you doing, Baba? Hey, what do you got the Denver game at? Five and a half. Okay, can you give me 100 dimes on Denver minus the points? We'll do 70. Okay, bet it. Hey, how'd we do? Ten dimes at four and a half. Very interesting story. Listen, kid. Next time, text. Every last dollar counts, Tommy. Major line move. Major line move. Major line move. It's up to six and a half. Oh. Remind me, where do we start again? Six. Yeah. Isn't that nice? A little half point swing. Hey, remind our good friend Elvis Presley to stick to singing. Wait, so, what the fuck is up with Cammy's wrist? It's not his wrist, it's a finger. It's a big day for Nene, huh? No, Nene's got some kind of a knee. Wait, they're both hurt? Mm-hmm. So, who do they have left for center? Jamal Sampson. Who? Exactly. Big day for Carlos Boozer. Hey, change of plans, brother. Chuck hurt himself at work. He can't make dinner today. Johnny's in. No, 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 no. It has to be Chuck. No, no, no. Trust me. It's Johnny, right? Dinner doesn't start for another hour. Dinner started at 10 a.m., Hoss. Look, just tell the chef what's up either way. Johnny's coming. Yeah, what? Dinner's fucked, bro. How bad? We're eating with the wrong guy. Well, you can't win them all, Tommy. Yeah, but... Listen, we were three for four last week. We'll be three for four this week. I'm telling you, we can't fucking lose. Hey, by the way, when can you get me another bag of that stuff that you got me? 
bag I brought you this morning? Yeah, that one. Baby doll, no, 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 no. I just, you know, I like play a little online poker before my ambient kicks in. What's the big fucking deal? What the hell is wrong with you? You playing a game of chance against a computer program? All right, hey, I gamble for a living. Bullshit, you're a mover. You haven't gambled in 15 fucking years. <laughs> I was up 20 grand last night. The computer says you're down $100,000. Oh, my God. No. I'm going to be sick. No, no, hey, hey, baby doll. No, hey, look, no, no, sweetie, that's, oh, hey, hey, that's not our money. No, that's not, that's, uh, that's the Chinaman's money. It's just, it's, it, technically, it's his account. Look, sweetheart, it's just a, it's just a little holdover, you know, until I, I catch another hot streak. Oh, my God. You disgusting fuck. He know he's making you that loan? No, no, kidding. Listen, listen. Come on. It's, it's under control. It's under control, right? We got a good thing here, Baba. We built this together over 20 goddamn years. Jesus Christ, our kids are sleeping right upstairs. I never gave up on you before. Do not fuck it up now. I won't. Hey, hey. I won't. Tonic, he called that reach, right? Yeah. Something's definitely a reach. I'm no ref, but yes, definitely. All right. What about this? Three in the lane. More like four in the lane. I'm telling you, every whistle seems legit. He's got to be fixing these games. Evidence would be nice. Don't say it, asshole. There's only one asshole yeah. here. All right, I'm telling you, don't. I just want to bet on the Sixers. What did I say, huh? What did I just fucking say? Mama! Mama! Nobody came here to fight, Baba. Look. See this? There's $200,000 here. All right? Now, I, I know I should have asked before I borrowed it. I can make the rest up in a week. You fucking know that. Tell your friend to exit the car. Now 
fucking way. Get out of the car, tell me. Baba. It's fine. All right. You're fine. Just do what the man says. All right, and we'll get out of here. What's your name, beautiful? Tommy. Tommy. Now use your imagination, Baba. And pretend Tommy's your wife, Debbie. Now oh, pretend he's your firstborn daughter. No, no, oh. Or your second board. Now see where this is headed, genius? Yeah! Now I like you, Bob. You are smart, you're discreet, you're honest, 99% of the time. So you hang on to this for now, okay? See if your NBA ref friend can't magically turn it into 1.2 million for you. What ref? You have exactly one week. Tommy? You got a gun? Fuck you! Uh, uh, I, I quit. I fucking quit. All right. Tommy, look. Tommy, come, come on, let's, let's just get you home, all right? Well, Donahue, his next pick is good for 20 grand, but I need him to guarantee a win, okay? I need a lock. He's not that fucking no, good. No, Tommy, he has to. All right, he has to, or else they're going to kill me. Do you realize this, Tommy? They're going to fucking kill me. I can't afford to gamble anymore. I need a fucking lock. As you know, Mr. Donahue, we're with the Organized Crime Division. But a recent investigation has us watching a lot of basketball, which is uh, a bit outside of our comfort zone. You come highly recommended as a subject matter an expert who can also help us with our request and discretion. Of course, whatever you need. How possible would it be for a rogue official to Manipulate game outcomes in a way that completely avoids detection. Manipulate how? We're looking for a guy whose final scores tend to favor the big money. Shave points is one thing to do it well. It's an 80% success rate. Well, he'd have to be pretty damn talented. I could name 30 guys in my league who couldn't do that. It's um, highly unlikely, but, but possible. We just need a good enough ref who associates with bad enough people. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you, um, looking at a D1 ref? Pro, actually. 
Mm -hmm. Is that your son? Timmy, yeah. I always dreamed of going pro, but he actually did it. Hey, he went to Cardinal O'Hara High School in 1985. He wouldn't happen to a guy named James Batista, would he? Papa, why? I'm just asking. I haven't heard that name in years. All right, <clears throat> now you remember what I taught you. Yeah, finger right on the needle point. I know. Face, follow through. Try a couple. Hey, Pops. Listen, son, I need to know something from you in no uncertain terms. Yes, yeah, sure, anything. Have you been in touch with Baba? Baba? Uh, why? I just need to know, that's all. No. Let's keep it that way, OK? Why, what's up? I think the FBI is looking at his MBA business. I wouldn't want anybody to get the wrong idea. Have me face. Baba fucked up, bro. You got my apples, though, right? Um, he owes me 50 fucking grand. He owes the Chinaman $1.2 million. He said if we keep these bets small. We didn't. Bab is in deep shit, bro. Your next pick's gotta be a lot. I'm out. Quit. What? No. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not now. We had a good run, Tommy, but this shit. He needs good. one more pick, Dunn. The pick that saves his goddamn life. The fucking FBI knows, Tommy. They talked to my father about Batista. This is about my life. You understand me? My career, my family. How much do they know? Because I know for a fact that the Chinaman's gonna kill Batista. He's gonna fucking kill him. Don't. Jesus Christ. This is nuts. Look, I... Sorry. I can't be a part of this anymore. Tim. No, no. I'm out. I'm out. No. Fuck! And who the fuck is the Chinaman, huh? We all good, fellas? Not even close. Did you tell him it's 20 grand? About the money, you fuck. The FBI's on to us. Yeah, no shit. The feds have been parked outside my house for three fucking weeks. You know what that means? It means they're still looking for proof, all right? What we're doing ain't remotely fucking provable. Guys, I don't keep records, all right? We're talking on burner phones for fuck's sake. And Elvis, you're a genius with a whistle in your mouth, okay? <laughs> nobody can do what you do. And nobody could prove it unless we told them ourselves. Just one more game done. Please. Fucking please. They can't prove any of this. Not unless we help them. I'll do it. For 30. All right. Listen, I need it in the next six days. And Timmy, it's got to be a lock. All right. I just guaranteed a lock, Tommy. Nobody can guarantee a lock. You're the one holding the whistle, dude.
Hello? Uh, it's Katie Carrick. Is he around? Hang on, I just walked in. No, he's not here. Why, what's up? Uh, it's best if we speak direct. Have him call me as soon as possible. Is anything the matter? It's my money too, Katie. You're not gonna like this, but the important thing is don't panic. Yo, Tommy! Yeah? What the fuck is sensualgals.com? That's a porno site, so much. These are hookers, Tommy. I only look at the pictures. Well, according to this bitch, Brandy, you two had sex at the Flounders Hotel. You were supposed to see that. Oh, in that case. My mistake! Steph, wait! It was meaningless. Yeah, to Brandy, maybe. Not to me! It was a two-star hotel in Clifton. I was drunk and stupid, and I am disgusted with myself, and it'll never happen again, I swear it. I love you, Steph! love you. Please don't go. I am, this has been really hard, but I'm trying, I'm trying to be better. No more gambling, no more dealing, no more girls, nothing. Just us. I swear it. I just need you to stay. Just, just tell me what I gotta do to get you to stay. You know how my dad bought the NBA? Did you know your brother Chuck fucked seven hookers in Thailand? Oh, that, that's so interesting. Yeah. Did he put that in his Christmas card to you? Mr. M? Yeah, hello, Timothy. I'm here, right. Uh, my bad. Uh, I was looking for Tommy. Hey, you're on speaker, champ. I'll call you back in two minutes. Did you hear the thing I said about Chuck? Yeah. You know, Chuck has never been to Thailand. You know that, right? Seven women. What's this guy nuts? Never take me out. How did you even get in here? I mean, if I could get in, then so could they. Listen, Steph, uh, watch your back, all right? <sighs> and uh, let me know if you see anybody who looks even fucking remotely Chinese. Yeah. We got dinner with Chuck at seven. Tonight. Tonight. That it's less than three hours from now. I'm already boxed into these fucking numbers, Tommy. He says it's watertight. All right. Chuck at seven. <sighs> Do me a favor, Dad. Say a little prayer for Chuck. Chuck's in Punta Cana, Tommy. Different Chuck. What the hell you boys are up to? Look, Miami's laying seven at home to Orlando. Okay, I want you to put everything that you fucking can on the heat laying, no more than seven. All right. You got any money in play tonight? Not yet, but my guy likes Orlando with Miami. Orlando? <laughs> Miami's won nine in a row. Miami's laying seven with D-Wade on the bench. You should go the other way, Dad. You know, I pay 80 bucks a week for picks. You know, I'm sharper than you think I am. I'm just saying. So am I. You gotta be kidding me. You should go the other way, Dad. You know we love you, son, no matter what, man. Christ almighty, Tommy, Tommy. To win, 50 dimes on Miami minus seven. So sorry about this. Hey, listen to me. The thing we talked about before with your father. Oh, you're gonna fuck me with the extra juice now! 
He's on Miami to cover seven. Yeah. But we'll shut the fuck up about it. How long is he gonna be here? All right. All right, fine. But wait, what? Minus seven, minus 120? All right, just bet 48 dimes to win. Minus seven on Miami. It's Baba 45-45. What's up, Tommy? It's magic heat tonight. Hello? Hey, son. I just called to wish you luck tonight. Oh. Thanks. I'll be watching. You're, uh, you're gonna watch the Miami game? Yeah, it's either that or the Seinfeld reruns. Plus, somebody from church said that the point spread was acting kind of crazy, and nobody knew why. Oh, really? I, uh, hadn't heard anything. Oh, of course not. Anyway, I'll let you get to it. Have fun out there. Yeah, always do. I just bet my entire life on Miami. What do you say? You want to sweat it in with me? Listen, Baba. If you don't mind, I'm kind of in the doghouse here, trying to claw my way out. Oh, yeah. You and me both. I got to fucking go home. I should go home. Okay. Good luck tonight. Fuck luck. Elvis lives. <laughs> you okay, Tim? Uh, sorry, kids. I, I I just been busy with work, okay? But everything's gonna be fine. Elvis Presley lives. Uh, all right. Good bread, good meat, good God. Let's eat, huh? Honey, <coughs> you look tired. Maybe you should take a nap. I'm fine. I'm totally fine, kids. You want to watch some basketball? Mm. That's wonderful. What is it? It's a pork chop. Yeah? It was the best pork chop I've ever had. They're leftovers. Who gives a shit? It's fucking awesome. Hey. Come on, I can't believe it. Is that a foul? Baba! You are scaring the kids. Talk to me, please. What is going on? Shh. How about I just turn the TV off? Shh. No, don't you fucking dare, Deb. Watch me! Mom! Kids, go upstairs. Baba? Kids, I mean it, go upstairs. I just want to watch. No, hey, come on! I, I just want to watch a game. <laughs> it's fucked up really bad. Hey, hey! <laughs> I know you have my life, Jimmy. There is nothing we can't fix. You hear me? Nothing we can't fix. Okay? <laughs> He's fouling out the wrong fucking team! Don't open!
open the door for anybody. I need you to come Do down, it. set a screen. A good one. Just make sure you got the Tim, go back. He looks good out there. Right. My dad loves you, by the way. To new beginnings. Not so fast, dirtbag. You dug yourself a pretty deep hole. Dirtbag. Mm -hmm. Get her out of here. We need to talk. It's okay. She's cool. She's not fucking cool. She knows everything. Nobody's Baba. fucking cool. The game just ended. What was the score? My dad's gonna be so pissed. Shit. You had a heart attack, Dad. Yeah. But the doctors say everything's gonna be okay, right, Mary? Go tell the nurses Daddy's awake. Thank you, sweetheart. Don't worry, honey. I'll you pay actually pay. OD'd on coke and pills right after you bankrupted this family, you fat fucking douche. Okay. Look, honey, I, I can make this right. You just took your last six pisses in the biggest fucking diaper I've ever seen. You can't do shit right now. No, 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 no. I'm going to call the Chinaman. You need to go to fucking rehab. Abby, please, with the rehab, don't. Relax. I'm taking care of it. Look, there's only one way you make this money back. Unless Shorty over here thinks he can pound two billion pennies out of my fat disgrace of a husband. Settle down, Sensei. Pete and Baba came up together. Philly, Vegas, Curacao, booking, betting, moving. When Baba's his best, he's the best there is. When he's not, Pete is. So my proposition is this. Let Pete move your money for half of Baba's rate. You keep the other half for yourself. If that's not a reliable payment plan, I don't know what the fuck is. You think he'd do the same for you? I'm not doing shit for that prick. I'm doing this for me. This is a great opportunity, sir, and I am not enough of an asshole to fuck it up. My husband gave you 10 good years. There's 10 more if you want them. James Batista? No fucking comment. That's a subpoena. You're going to appear before a federal grand jury in New York. You came all the way from New York for that? Smart money says cooperate. <laughs> Have a nice ride home, asshole. Well, I'm not going home. My partner and I are just getting started. Enjoy your ice cream. Fuck you, son. I'm sweating this, Baba. I'm sweating this hard. Look, don't. All right? They might know what we did, but they can't prove that we did it. What if Donaghy talks? Tommy, Donaghy can't say anything without admitting that he bet his own games. All right? The second he does that, he ruins his career and torpedoes his entire fucking life. Oh, fuck. That's them. 
Okay, relax. Tommy, listen. They got nothing. Okay? Believe me, they got nothing. We're good. <sighs> Hello, Thomas. Hello? Agent Harris, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Huh. How can I help you, Agent Harris? But the question is, how can you help yourself? That's a subpoena to appear before a federal grand jury. The U.S. attorney wants to ask you a few questions. Can I take the fifth right now? Or is that something that I gotta show up in person to do? I like you, Tommy. Try not to fuck yourself too hard on this. Tim Donahue. Jerry Conrad, FBI. Oh, what can I do for you, Agent Conrad? Best way to protect yourself is to tell me your side of the story. Uh, uh, protect myself from what? The other side of the story. The one that protects Tommy and Bubba. <laughs> you don't know it yet, but you're in a free fall. How well you land is entirely up to you. Either way, you wrapped your last NBA game. Bullshit. It's already done. Oh, hey, sorry I'm late. It's just, uh, the range. The FBI stopped by today. The FBI? Well, what for? When are you gonna stop lying? No, 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 honey, I swear to God, stop. I don't want Stop. They told me everything. What have you done to this family? I bet on some of my own games that just uh, a few small bets I couldn't pass up. And Baba took them. I wish I could say I'm more surprised, but Christ. You're the kid who cheated on your SATs, so of course you're fixing ball games. I never said I fixed. I said I bet. I know about the line moves, Timmy. I've seen the outcomes. Are you honestly going to sit there before me, before God, and tell me you never fixed a game? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, good. Now you look me in the eye and you tell me that again. You tell me you never fixed a goddamn game. You remember who you're talking to, son. I never made a bad call. My whole life, I never been proud of anything the way I was proud of you. Really? Because that's news to me. You had so much potential. I tried to nurture it. I taught you everything I could. Respect, rules, integrity. And you still managed to break my heart. Yeah, just like I knew I always would. I always came up short in your mind, didn't I? Huh? Not smart enough, not good enough, right? Not fast enough. I did everything I could to make you proud of me. Everything. I even became a ref. It's not something I wanted for myself. I did it for you. It's a respectable job, Tim. Is it? It is the way I do it. <laughs> you want to make me proud? Your low-life friends got you into this mess. You got to get yourself out on your own. We're going to do just fine. Dad, we got a plan. No! You need your own plan! You gotta do what's right for you! For your family! They are my best friends. They are not your friends anymore! This isn't a goddamn debate! Fix this. You're the only one who can.
Old times, huh? Don't worry, boss. Piece of cake. The state will show that between December 2006 and March 2007, the defendants, Timothy Donahue, Thomas Martino, and James Batista, engaged in a conspiracy to illegally transmit wagering information related to games played within the National Basketball Association. Mr. Donahue, an NBA referee, transmitted non-public, confidential information that he obtained during his official capacity to two co-conspirators to be used for betting on games. The fact that they call it the Princeton offense gives the impression that you need a 1600 on your SATs to execute a simple backdoor pass. The Philly suburbs prove that theory wrong. Is it true that you make your living as a professional bookmaker? Is it true you passed the New York State Bar Exam on your third try? You don't need to be smart to get your teammate an open layup. You just need big enough balls to screen a big on his behalf. They don't got shit. All for one, Timmy. All right, this is ours to lose. Did you ever use the telephone across state lines to relay betting information from Timothy Donahue to James Baba Batista? Nah. That's the life we learned in Delco. We tested loyalty every day. We bled for each other. We lied for each other. All for one and one for all. Whatever you want to call it, we thought it would last forever. <clears throat> Did you ever wager on games that you officiated? as an employee of the National Basketball Association? Yes. Yes, I did. I, uh... It only took four months to destroy. Please, fuck this. I'm not proud of some of the things I've done. But I also believe that my family's well-being was at stake. It's something I have to make right. I understand that. As far back as December 2006, I was betting on teams and games I was officiating. I placed those bets with, with James Batista, Tommy Martino. That's bullshit. That's fucking, that's, I'm sorry, that's bullshit. Donaghy sold us out like you couldn't fucking believe. Said me and Baba were gangsters and that we threatened to kill his family if we didn't give him picks. It was obvious bullshit, sure, but 
I've never known a better bullshitter. Every friendship has its threshold. Once Tim's father got involved, me and Baba didn't stand a chance. It probably ain't a bad thing we screwed it all up as fast as we did. If we kept going any longer, God knows where we'd be now. Bottom of a lake, maybe, or a tub of fucking acid. So who knows, really? Maybe that fucker saved our lives. And I got a story to tell. <laughs> <laughs>